When it comes to wildlife, the UK is one of the safest places in the world. This is not because we've come up with very ingenious ways of keeping dangerous animals away from built up areas, but instead it's because we killed all of our dangerous animals hundreds if not thousands of years ago. Bears, wolves and lynx used to call the UK home, but unfortunately today they are extinct in the UK. From the outside, the British ecosystem may seem quite strange, as it's almost entirely devoid of large animals. The largest land predator in the UK is the European badger, and the largest native land animal is the red deer. There have been quite a few attempts to reintroduce species that have gone extinct in the UK, such as the Eurasian beaver and the European bison. Some of these reintroductions have been quite successful, but really it's relatively hard for a large animal to survive in the UK. The UK is around a third the size of Texas, and it has over double the population. This means that wild, large open areas are hard to come by in the UK, as around 70% of the UK's land is farmland, and around 8% is urban areas. This means that only around 22% of the UK is truly wild, and these wild areas are usually cut up by roads and train tracks. Most of the truly wild areas in the UK are found in the remote parts of Wales and Scotland, and this is where you can find some of the UK's largest animals. For some people, the lack of large animals in the UK is reassuring, as you can go pretty much anywhere you like without having to worry about being attacked by a wild animal. Personally, I think it's a real shame that we don't have a lot of the large animals that we once did, but one of the ecosystems that is still relatively healthy in the UK is our marine ecosystem. Even though the waters around the UK are often overfished and polluted with sewage, there is still a vast array of life. You can find various mammals in the form of seals, dolphins and whales, and you can find fascinating smaller creatures such as cuttlefish and seahorses. Contrary to popular belief, the one thing that British waters are not lacking is sharks. There are around 40 species that are commonly found around the UK, and the majority of these species are relatively small. You will often find multiple species of cat shark and dogfish, but every now and again you can come across a larger species. The second largest fish in the world, the basking shark, is often found in UK waters, and despite looking quite ominous, they are completely harmless. Before we get into our next section, I would just like to point out that shark attacks are extremely rare. There are around 10 reported fatal shark attacks each year, and this means that the chances of you being attacked and killed by a shark are extremely low. The UK is home to some potentially dangerous sharks, but the waters around the UK are some of the safest in the world. Some of the larger, more predatory species of shark that can be found off the coast of the UK are the poor beagle, the common fresher shark, and the blue shark. The poor beagle shark looks quite similar to the great white as they are related, but the poor beagle is a lot smaller, typically reaching a length of around 2.5 meters. Although this species looks quite scary, it is relatively harmless, as there's only ever been one reported provoked attack, and no attacks from this shark have been fatal. The common fresher shark is a very beautiful species of shark, and once again it's mostly interested in fish. It uses its very long tail to swipe at fish, and this often completely immobilizes them. There has only been a single provoked attack on a human from a common fresher shark, and this attack was not fatal. The blue shark is one of the most famous species that can be found off the coast of the UK, but once again this shark isn't very dangerous. This species of shark prefers the open ocean, and very rarely comes close to shore. They are generally quite lethargic, and the majority of their diet is made up of squid, cuttlefish and octopuses. All this means that you are relatively safe in British waters, but there have been a few very rare attacks over the years. In 2022, a woman was bitten on the leg by a blue shark while snorkeling, but she was left with relatively mild injuries and later walked from the boat. Most other attacks in the UK are provoked attacks on fishermen, but there have been two very strange fatal events. All the way back in 1937, a basking shark breached the water and managed to capsize a boat in Scotland. Three men drowned as a result of this, but this is still not the strangest story. Back in 1956, two men were killed by an exploding shark. This strange event happened off the coast of Cornwall, and to be honest, it doesn't seem like the shark's fault. As I'm sure many of you already know, sharks don't spontaneously explode. The men had actually been trying to kill or scare the shark, and they did so by throwing explosives in the water. 
The shark was reportedly getting too close to Navy divers the week before, so they decided to try and do something about it. Unfortunately for the men, their plan didn't work, as the shark swam towards their dinghy, with the bombs trailing behind it. The bombs then detonated beneath their dinghy, and this resulted in the deaths of two men. With the exception of these two very strange stories, fatal shark attacks in the UK don't really happen. This could all be set to change in the coming decades, as quite a few potentially dangerous species could be coming to the UK. British waters have often been too cold for certain species, but as ocean temperatures continue to rise, there have been more and more sightings of certain sharks. For the next part of the video, I will be going through just a few of the species, and if they pose a threat to humans. First up, we'll start off with the most iconic shark in the world, the Great White Shark. The Great White Shark is one of the most impressive predators in our oceans, and unfortunately they are also one of the most dangerous sharks in our oceans. There are usually three species that are responsible for the majority of shark attacks around the world, and these species are the Bull Shark, the Tiger Shark, and the Great White Shark. Even though shark attacks on humans are very rare, the Great White Shark is responsible for a large number of them. Great White Sharks have been spotted around the UK since 1965. There have been at least 100 credible sightings, and this number could increase over the coming years. The Great White Shark, just like humans, is endothermic. This means that they have to regulate their internal body temperature, and they're able to have a body temperature that's cooler or warmer than the surrounding water. This means that they can deal with cold water better than some other species of shark, and they could be heading to the UK in search of new hunting grounds. This is potentially the only shark you have to worry about coming to the UK, but it is one of the more likely. Another shark that could be heading to UK waters is the Great Hammerhead, and this species is the largest species of hammerhead shark. It can reach a maximum length of around 6.1 metres, and this makes it quite a formidable predator. These sharks are sometimes spotted off the coast of the UK and Ireland, but these sightings are relatively rare. This is not only because this shark very rarely enters our waters, but it's also because this shark is extremely rare. Like many other sharks around the world, it is currently listed as critically endangered, as sharks are relentlessly overfished and poached all over the world. It's estimated that around 100 million sharks are killed by humans each year, and this really upsets the balance of marine ecosystems. Even if these sharks were to enter British waters in large numbers, luckily humans aren't on the menu. They're mostly interested in crustaceans and fish, and this even includes other sharks. As of 2011, there have only been 17 unprovoked attacks, and none of these attacks have been fatal. This shark's aggressive reputation is mostly undeserved, and personally I'd quite like to see this rare shark around British waters. The last inclusion on this list is quite a strange one, but only because of the way that the media are reacting to it. If you try and find any information on the topic of this video, you'll probably find quite a few articles telling you that tiger sharks are coming to the UK. This is classic lazy journalism, because tiger sharks definitely aren't making their way to the UK, nor are sand tiger sharks, but small tooth sand tiger sharks might be. A few of these sharks have washed up on the coast of the UK and Ireland, and they're usually very rare visitors. They are not a very dangerous species as they rarely come into contact with humans, and instead they usually prefer deep water. It is a very docile species and mostly feeds on smaller fish. As ocean temperatures rise, it could become more common in UK waters, and the chances are that nobody would even notice. We often portray sharks as evil killing machines, but they do play a very important role in their ecosystems. Large sharks entering British waters may not necessarily be a bad thing, and really we will have to wait and see what the future holds. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about this topic in the comments down below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.